however well or how far you may hit the ball. In golf, it's the final few feet that really matter. Here we see how Quintic Sports is using technology to help golfers analyse their putting stroke. Quintic uh, is actually based in Birmingham. Uh, it's the brainchild of uh, Dr. Paul Hurrian, uh, who is a doctor in biomechanics. Dr. Hurrian has worked with uh, a major variation of players throughout the world, both in golf and, and football. Um, his major clients sort of being Padre Carrington, who's won a few majors. Danny Willett. Um, he's worked in the past with Roy McElroy. In soccer, he's uh, helped out Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, in cricket, the English cricket team, uh, Indian cricket teams, uh, where there's a ball involved and uh, we're looking at the spin of a ball, then he's, he's usually there helping out the top athletes. So when a golfer arrives for the lesson, the first thing that we're going to do is baseline their putter, get it calibrated to zero degrees. That's basically the start point of the lesson, so that every piece of information that we look at for the rest of the lesson is based off the putter being square to the hole that you're going to see behind me. We've got a high-speed camera that we look at the ball with. We've got some lights to light up the ball because of the strong Vegas sun above us. The light isn't actually measuring anything. Um, looks pretty, pretty technological, but all it's doing is trying to light up the bottom of the golf ball. We've got the sun overhead here. It's creating a shadow under the ball. So we measure everything biomechanically, and we want to see the ball as it's rolling um, without any shadows. So that's an important piece of kit that goes along with the camera. Basically, we always set up the system in exactly the same way to measure the first 16 inches of the ball roll. So we see the club coming into impact, see the ball leaving the golf club, and then we're able to analyze the data that we've gotten, look at it on the computer, and then we can tell each golfer, based on what they've just done, how effective they're actually hitting their putts. We're gonna see everything, basically, what the club did and what happened to the ball once the club hit the ball. So here we're seeing the ball rolling away from the putter, this is from a PGA Tour player, so it's obviously very good numbers that's coming out. We're seeing the speed of the putter, the speed of the ball, even how much spin uh, the ball has, if it's overspin or backspin. Uh, if the putter was pointing to the right or to the left, it's going to obviously make the ball miss the hole in that direction. Uh, we're seeing if the ball jumped a little bit or if it stayed on the green and actually rolled the way it's supposed to do. This particular ball is a ball we use to show the players if the ball is spinning sideways or if it's actually rolling end over end. It's a good visual for the golfers to get an immediate feedback on if they're doing it properly or not. So if the black and white line stays straight, starts along the string and then takes the break away it should, it's always rolling end over end so there's no side spin on the putt at that point. There we go. So the laser you're going to see on the ground uh, is something that we use to help the golfer get set up. When we turn the laser on, we'll see on the white aim board down there exactly where the golfer is aiming their club face. We can measure the consistency of each player based on the twisting of the putter at impact. So based on the impact location of the ball on the face, what's going to happen is if it's off the toe, the putter will open, and if it's off the heel, the putter will close. So we're able to measure exactly how much the putter is turning through the, the impact of the strike. After we've done the analysis on each player, then we have 40 to 50 different drills where we'll give the player to go away and work on. Not all at the same time, obviously, but they'll get one or two drills that they'll go and practice their setup on, or maybe it's a strike of the putter. And usually we like to then see the player come back in about a month, retest them on the system, and then hopefully things have gotten better and we're seeing improvement on a uh, monthly by monthly basis. So I guess when the people back at home are watching on TV and watching the pros, uh, hitting at 300 yards off the tee is a bit of a fantasy, but 
the thing that they can improve that would be closest to the pros would actually be their short game and their putting. And uh, it's where you can save a lot of strokes and it's something that everyone can get better at.